Since its debut on television, The Curse of Oak Island has gathered a massive following, captivating audiences with the tireless endeavors of the Legina brothers and their dedicated team in their quest to unearth the legendary treasure rumored to be concealed beneath the island's surface. As the show progresses through its ten seasons, viewers have witnessed the team's unwavering determination and meticulous exploration efforts bring them closer than ever to unraveling the mysteries of Oak Island. In the region of the Money Pit, situated on Oak Island, Rick, Marty, along with their dedicated team members, have recently acquired fresh sonar information, unveiling promising clues, hinting at the presence of human-made structures tucked approximately 150 feet beneath the surface within the expansive cavern, affectionately dubbed Aladdin's Cave. The notion of the Aladdin's Cave on Oak Island is a captivating concept that has captured the imagination of treasure hunters and enthusiasts for generations. This term refers to a theoretical treasure trove, or concealed chamber, believed by some, to lie hidden beneath the island's rugged terrain. The inspiration for this notion can be traced back to the timeless tale of Aladdin, a character from the renowned collection of Middle Eastern folk tales known as One Thousand and One Nights, or Arabian Nights. In the tale of Aladdin, the titular character stumbles upon a wondrous cave filled to the brim with untold riches and treasures beyond imagination. This cave, often referred to as the Cave of Wonders, holds a central place in the narrative, serving as a symbol of mystery, adventure, and boundless possibility. Aladdin gains access to this fabled cave through the discovery of a magical lamp, which grants him extraordinary powers and enables him to navigate its perilous depths. Similarly, the concept of Aladdin's cave on Oak Island evokes a sense of mystery and intrigue, fueling speculation about the existence of hidden chambers or caches of treasure waiting to be unearthed. Like Aladdin's cave, it represents the allure of discovery and the quest for riches, drawing treasure hunters and explorers from far and wide in search of its secrets. While the existence of an actual Aladdin's cave on Oak Island remains a matter of speculation and debate, the legend continues to inspire exploration and adventure, keeping alive the enduring fascination with the island's mysterious past. Whether rooted in reality or myth, the idea of uncovering a hidden trove of treasures beneath Oak Island's surface remains a tantalizing prospect, echoing the timeless allure of Aladdin's legendary cave. Within the context of Oak Island, the phrase Aladdin's cave serves as a metaphorical representation of a legendary repository of riches or valuable relics purportedly concealed within the island's labyrinthine underground passages. This symbolic concept is intricately interwoven with the overarching mythology and folklore that enshrouds Oak Island, sparking centuries of intrigue, speculation, and fervent exploration. Much like the mythical cave in the tale of Aladdin, the notion of an Aladdin's cave on Oak Island embodies the allure of hidden treasures and the quest for untold wealth. It symbolizes the tantalizing possibility of discovering long-lost artifacts, precious metals, or priceless heirlooms concealed within the island's enigmatic depths. Over the years, the legend of Oak Island's Aladdin's Cave has captured the imaginations of treasure hunters, historians, and adventurers alike, inspiring countless expeditions and quests to unveil its secrets. While the existence of such a cache remains shrouded in mystery and speculation, the enduring allure of the concept continues to fuel the relentless pursuit of discovery on Oak Island. Ultimately, the metaphorical significance of Aladdin's cave within the context of Oak Island encapsulates the timeless fascination with hidden treasures and the enduring quest to unlock the mysteries of the past. It represents a symbol of hope, adventure, and the eternal quest for the unknown that continues to captivate individuals drawn to the enigmatic allure of Oak Island's storied history. Steve is currently in the process of remarking that the formations before them undeniably lack the appearance of being natural occurrences. Observing this, Paul affirms his sentiment with a nod, agreeing. He anticipates a clearer understanding of the formation's intricacies once Steve integrates them into the 3D model. Furthermore, Paul anticipates that delving into the characterization of the opening will yield a plethora of valuable insights. In his view, this analysis promises to shed light on the historical techniques employed by individuals in the past to excavate and manipulate the terrain beneath 106 in the Money Pit area. Terry elaborates on what he's currently observing, suggesting that the slope might be made of sand. Paul acknowledges this and adds that the slope could be hiding objects on the floor. Meanwhile, Marty notices a distinct square wall and finds it intriguing. Reflecting on the situation, 
He suggests that the presence of man-made structures in the cave could be explained by it being a treasure repository. He emphasizes the advantageous view they have and suggests that, based on their data, the area they're observing corresponds to the western section of the cave, which is substantial in size. Finally, he stresses the importance of determining the origin of the structures. It was unanimously concurred by all individuals in attendance that a comprehensive and meticulous evaluation of the discovery was imperative. Various perspectives were shared on how best to proceed, with two distinct approaches being deliberated upon. One suggestion involved the implementation of additional drilling operations, coupled with an in-depth outward-looking scan, while alternative strategies were also considered. After a thorough discussion and weighing of the options, the decision was made to pursue the course of action involving further drilling and detailed scanning. This decision was met with collective agreement, and preparations were swiftly initiated to execute the plan. Expressions of gratitude were exchanged among the team members for their collaborative efforts and dedication to the task at hand. As the discussion drew to a close, contemplation ensued regarding the potential outcomes and implications of the forthcoming actions. The next day brought about a series of discussions centered around the ongoing issues within the shaft wall. It was revealed during the conversation that efforts were being made to address the situation through drilling activities aimed at pinpointing the origin of the water infiltration. Detailed accounts were provided regarding the alarming rate at which water was entering the shaft, with reports indicating a steady rise of approximately a foot per hour. Amidst expressions of concern and astonishment, assurances were given that Roger had deployed a camera to document the situation promising to provide the team with visual evidence through images and video footage. The team on Oak Island deliberates on two potential approaches for further exploration of a cave-like opening, illustrating their strategic mindset and unwavering commitment to unlocking the island's hidden secrets. The first proposed method involves drilling a new hole into the cave and conducting an extensive outward-looking scan. This strategy underscores the team's reliance on advanced technology and scientific methodologies to gather comprehensive data about the interior structure of the cave. By drilling into unexplored areas, the team aims to access untapped regions of the cave and acquire valuable insights that could illuminate its composition and potential contents. Additionally, the outward-looking scan will yield high-resolution images of the cave's exterior enabling the team to scrutinize its shape and any visible features with precision. This method showcases the team's dedication to thorough exploration and their readiness to employ cutting-edge techniques to enhance the likelihood of uncovering significant discoveries. In contrast, the second approach prioritizes conducting a detailed outward-looking scan of the cave without drilling a new hole. This alternative underscores the team's cautious and systematic approach as they aim to gather as much information as possible before proceeding with further exploration. Utilizing specialized scanning equipment, the team can generate precise images of the cave's exterior, facilitating a thorough analysis of its dimensions and visible features from various perspectives. This approach highlights the team's commitment to meticulous research and their aspiration to make well-informed decisions based on comprehensive data. By evaluating multiple strategies and leveraging technological advancements to their advantage, the team exemplifies their strategic acumen and unwavering dedication to unraveling the enigmatic mysteries of Oak Island. The exploration of Aladdin's cave has been a focal point throughout much of the season, with Marty Legina and other team members firmly believing that this small cave holds the key to resolving their myriad challenges. Rick Legina and Craig Tester arrive to join Scott Barlow in the Money Pit area, where members of Dumas Contracting Limited are currently grappling with the challenge of halting the enigmatic flow of water that persistently inundates the garden shaft. They find themselves approximately 65 feet below the surface, precisely where the water is seeping into the shaft. Interestingly, this seems to be a localized occurrence, as surrounding areas have been drilled into and found to be dry. There are some rather peculiar findings down there, as inside there appears to be a small cavern and it's filled with timber. It is observed that inside the cavity, there were planks arranged peculiarly. It is pointed out that these planks appeared to be 116 boards stacked on top of each other. The current situation presents a moment of perplexity for Rick Legina, Craig Tester, and their team as they navigate the challenges in the Money Pit area, amidst the ongoing efforts by workers from Dumas Contracting Lidded. To probe the drill and ascertain the source of the water flow inundating the garden shaft, a startling discovery has emerged. 
At a depth of 65 feet, just outside the structure, lies an enigmatic cavern shrouded in mystery. Within this cavern, an unexpected sight awaits a collection of wooden timbers, adding to the intrigue of the situation. The unexpected find raises a myriad of questions and intensifies the atmosphere of curiosity and anticipation among the team members as they delve deeper into the mysteries of Oak Island. Rick stresses the importance of getting down there and seeing it firsthand. He mentions that if their suspicions were confirmed, it would be quite remarkable. Expressing his anticipation, he talks about his eagerness to enlarge the hole and explore inside. He acknowledges that dealing with the water was the immediate priority. There is a question that emerges as to whether the setback might actually lead to a breakthrough discovery. However, Rick notes that they first needed to stop the water flow to confirm this. Reflecting on the situation, he remarks on the irony of facing the same challenges as the original explorers, despite being over 200 years later. He remarks that this aspect adds to the intrigue of the endeavor. Rick assures the team that they will find a solution and that the tunnel still exists. He knows that they would collaborate to devise a plan. Quoting Charles, he emphasizes that if it were easy, it would have been done already. He chuckles at the thought of the long-standing mystery of Oak Island. He declares that they aren't finished yet and encourages everyone to keep pushing forward. Craig agrees, affirming their ability to overcome the challenge together. Rick concludes by thanking Roger and confirming their determination to proceed. Additionally, the composition of the cave floor, characterized by sand and sloping terrain, offers valuable insights into its geological history and the potential for buried treasures to be preserved within its depths. The presence of echoes detected during sonar scans suggests the existence of openings or passages leading to undiscovered areas, sparking speculation about the interconnectedness of Aladdin's cave with other parts of Oak Island's underground network. However, amid the excitement and anticipation of potential discoveries, the team remains mindful of the importance of conducting thorough and methodical assessments. Further exploratory activities, such as drilling additional boreholes and conducting detailed sonar scans, are deemed necessary to fully unravel the mysteries concealed within Aladdin's cave. By harnessing advanced technology and expertise, the team is poised to illuminate the cave's enigmatic features and unlock its secrets. As the team continues with their exploration, they find something else of great treasure that makes them believe the hunt for treasure on Oak Island is over. Rick and Alex Legina, accompanied by the expert metal detectorist Gary Drayton and joined by Billy Gerhardt, converge at the southern edge of the swamp, embarking on a highly anticipated excavation venture. Their collective objective, to venture beyond the well-known Stone Road, delving into uncharted territory in pursuit of potentially concealed treasures and artifacts. Anticipation permeates the air as the team prepares to delve into the earth, each member brimming with optimism for what they might uncover. Billy's hopeful outlook sets a positive tone, underscoring the team's shared enthusiasm for the impending exploration. Amidst lighthearted exchanges about storage logistics for their discoveries, the team maintains a steadfast focus on their overarching mission to unveil the long-held mysteries lurking beneath the swamp's surface. With the recent removal of millions of gallons of brackish water from the bog, the stage is set for an in-depth investigation of the Stone Road and its environs. As Billy meticulously begins to clear away the gravel, Gary Drayton assumes his position with precision, metal detector in hand, poised to detect any faint signals that may lead them to valuable insights concealed within the soil. Billy expresses optimism, hoping that this new dig will give them a lot of valuable findings. He makes a joke about storing the artifacts in his car, resulting in laughter from the group. Excitement crackles in the air as the team embarks on this thrilling new phase of exploration, their anticipation palpable with each scoop of gravel and sweep of the metal detector. Every moment brings them closer to unraveling the enigmatic secrets that have tantalized them for so long, infusing the atmosphere with a potent blend of hope and determination as they eagerly await the treasures that the swamp may reveal. Rick Legina's fervent desire to unearth every iota of hidden information concealed beneath the swamp road underscores the team's unwavering commitment to solving Oak Island's enduring mystery. With each passing moment, they inch closer to their goal, driven by an insatiable curiosity to uncover the truth buried within the island's murky depths. As they delve deeper into their excavation, a remarkable discovery emerges, a peculiar object resembling a dowel, reminiscent of those unearthed at the U-shaped structure in Smith's Cove. 
The striking similarity to the previously discovered dowels ignites a spark of excitement within the team, igniting their imaginations with the tantalizing possibility of a connection between the two sites. The intriguing parallels between the wooden structures found at Smith's Cove and the newly discovered dowel near the stone road in the swamp raise compelling questions about the island's ancient past. Could this be evidence of a related construction project linked by the enigmatic Roman numerals and the mysterious musket artifact found on Lot 5? As the team contemplates the significance of their discovery, they are poised on the precipice of a breakthrough that could unlock the secrets hidden within Oak Island's labyrinthine history. With this latest discovery, the team's optimism soars as they believe they are edging closer to uncovering crucial evidence that could finally piece together the intricate puzzle of Oak Island's enigmatic past. As they press on with their exploration, their anticipation for further discoveries intensifies, driven by the insatiable desire to unravel the mysteries shrouding the island's history. Rick Legina and the dedicated Oak Island team strike yet another potentially significant find in their ongoing investigation near the Stone Road, nestled within the swamp's murky depths. Their latest discovery, a hand-forged iron chain, immediately captures their attention, hinting at its age and the wealth of historical narratives it may hold. The rugged appearance of the chain sparks speculation among the team members, who ponder its possible use in activities related to the island's historical operations, such as cargo unloading from ships or other maritime endeavors. This find adds another layer to the growing tapestry of artifacts and features that collectively paint a vivid picture of Oak Island's complex and storied past. As they meticulously examine the iron chain, the team's excitement mounts, fueled by the prospect of uncovering more clues that could provide invaluable insights into the island's enigmatic history. The craftsmanship and antiquity of the chain make it a tantalizing artifact promising a wealth of information awaiting discovery through further analysis. Gary's theory regarding the chain's potential role in unloading valuable cargo onto Oak Island resonates strongly with the context of its discovery. The presence of both the chain and the accompanying hook suggests a scenario where heavy items were routinely transported or unloaded in the vicinity, underscoring the island's historical significance as a hub of maritime activity. The crude design of the hook and the unmistakable craftsmanship of the chain evoke images of bygone eras when such tools were essential for tackling arduous tasks. The team's palpable excitement over these discoveries underscores their importance in shedding light on Oak Island's past exploits and the role they played in shaping its intriguing narrative. While the artifacts alone may not provide definitive proof of cargo unloading, their discovery aligns seamlessly with the historical narratives that have long swirled around Oak Island. With each new find, the team inches closer to unlocking the secrets buried beneath the island's surface, offering tantalizing glimpses into its rich and enigmatic history. Further analysis and exploration hold the promise of unearthing even more clues to unravel the mysteries that have captivated generations of treasure hunters and historians alike. Believing that there is so much potential in the swamp area of Oak Island, the team dedicates more time to strengthening their efforts in that area. Rick Legina, accompanied by his nephew Alex, Gary Drayton, and Billy Gerhardt, persist in their search for crucial clues near the Stone Road believed to be around 500 years old. Since their initial discovery of this massive feature in 2020, the team has diligently explored the area, uncovering critical clues and artifacts along the way. Among these findings are remnants of ancient wooden barrels and the remnants of a stone pathway, both of which hint at the area's historical significance as a potential site for unloading valuable cargo onto Oak Island. The team's meticulous efforts have revealed tantalizing glimpses into the island's past, sparking curiosity and driving their determination to uncover more secrets hidden beneath the surface. With each discovery, they inch closer to solving the enduring 229-year-old mystery that has captivated generations of treasure hunters and historians alike. The team aspires to unearth more sections of the Stone Road and discover valuable artifacts that could offer insights into the centuries-old mystery. Billy initiates excavation efforts and soon reveals a substantial chain buried within the earth. Alex eagerly beckons Rick to inspect the new finding, prompting Gary to elaborate on its significance. Gary suggests that if the theory of items being offloaded onto the island holds, the chain serves as confirmation, likely being part of the apparatus used for unloading cargo. Rick's excitement grows as he draws a parallel to a multi-point system, speculating about its potential connection to the chain. 
Expressing enthusiasm for the discovery, Rick acknowledges the wealth of possibilities that lie within the area. Despite needing to attend to other matters, he encourages the team to continue their exploration, wishing them success in their endeavors. As Billy continues to excavate, Gary meticulously sifts through the debris with his metal detector, eliciting joy from the continuous beeping, indicating valuable objects buried beneath the soil. Upon closer inspection, Gary uncovers iron embedded in a piece of wood, suggesting it may be part of a spike, warranting further examination in the laboratory. Convinced that the area holds more secrets, the team persists in their efforts. Gary's metal detector once again alerts them to another discovery, this time revealing the head of a rusted spike piercing through wood. The men's excitement mounts as they deduce the age of the artifact, speculating it may date back to the 1700s or even earlier. Gary identifies it as likely belonging to a smaller ship or wharf pin, prompting Billy to propose the possibility of a structure existing in the swamp. The conversation shifts to legendary treasure hunter Fred Nolan, whose insights and contributions to the Oak Island mystery are revered by the team. Born in 1927, Nolan devoted his life to investigating the island's enigmatic history, sharing invaluable knowledge and experiences with fellow enthusiasts and researchers alike. Fred Nolan, initially an engineer by profession, was drawn to the enigma of Oak Island during the 1960s, becoming deeply intrigued by its mysteries. Over the ensuing years, Nolan dedicated himself to exhaustive research, meticulous surveys, and thorough excavations on the island, making significant strides in expanding our understanding of the fabled treasure purportedly hidden within its confines. Nolan's approach to unraveling the Oak Island mystery was characterized by methodical precision as he meticulously mapped and documented the island's myriad features. One of Nolan's most notable contributions to Oak Island lore was his painstaking creation of detailed maps charting the island's terrain. These comprehensive maps not only delineated the locations of various landmarks, but also identified crucial features, such as shafts, tunnels, and potential sites of interest. Nolan's meticulous surveys and meticulously crafted maps served as invaluable resources for subsequent generations of treasure hunters and researchers, providing them with essential navigational aids to navigate the intricate underground landscape of Oak Island. Nolan's enduring legacy lies not only in his remarkable dedication to uncovering the secrets of Oak Island, but also in the enduring impact of his meticulously documented findings. Through his meticulous surveys and detailed maps, Nolan played a pivotal role in shaping the ongoing quest to unlock the mysteries concealed within Oak Island's enigmatic depths, leaving an indelible mark on the enduring fascination with this legendary site of intrigue and speculation. Fred Nolan's contributions to Oak Island's exploration were not devoid of controversy, as he occasionally clashed with fellow treasure hunters and researchers on the island. His proprietary approach to his research, coupled with protective measures to safeguard his findings, led to tensions with other enthusiasts. Despite these disputes, Nolan's impact on Oak Island's legacy remains profound. His unwavering commitment to unraveling the island's mysteries, bolstered by his engineering expertise and adept mapping skills, offered valuable insights into potential treasure locations and the island's historical significance. Nolan's passing in 2016 marked the end of an era, but his legacy endures through his extensive body of work which continues to shape the ongoing pursuit of understanding the enigmatic secrets of Oak Island. One noteworthy aspect of Nolan's research was his discovery of evidence suggesting the construction of a dam on the island. He postulated that this dam might have been instrumental in artificially creating the swamp, shedding new light on the team's recent findings near South Shore Road. This revelation adds another layer of complexity to the ongoing exploration aligning with Nolan's theories and providing a fresh perspective on the island's history. The dawn of the following morning brings a sense of anticipation and anticipation to the team as they eagerly await the evaluation of the artifacts they have unearthed. There's a palpable tension in the air, mingled with excitement, as they yearn to uncover the secrets hidden within the stone foundation and decipher the significance of the evidence they've amassed. Convening at the Oak Island Interpretive Center, the team eagerly awaits the arrival of Carmen Legg, a seasoned blacksmithing expert enlisted to provide insights into their discoveries. As Carmen begins examining the artifacts discovered near the stone road in the swamp, the team watches intently, hanging on his every word. 
His expert eye discerns intricate details within the artifacts, such as the markings of handmade nails within a larger item, which he suggests may have been utilized to hang oil lamps in dimly lit spaces, possibly aiding in navigation within the confines of a ship's basement. His insights prompt a moment of contemplation among the team members, who ponder the potential implications of such artifacts in the context of construction activities in the swamp. Moving on to another discovery, Carmen identifies a tool previously found by Gray and Jack, elucidating its true nature as a set, contrary to their initial assumptions. The team absorbs this information, grateful for Carmen's expertise and eager to glean further insights as their exploration continues. As Carmen examines the set in his hand, he discerns its likely purpose as a ship construction set dating back to the 1600s or 1700s. His expertise shines through as he analyzes each detail, providing valuable insights into the artifact's historical significance. Moving on to the iron chain, Carmen's astonishment is palpable as he requests assistance in straightening it for closer examination. Upon closer inspection, his amazement only grows, prompting cheers from the team. Carmen's explanation of the chain's structure reinforces its antiquity, noting distinctive features that suggest a time frame predating the 17th century. His observation of the chain's straight shaft and heavy curl at the end leads him to confidently assert its age, estimating it to be as ancient as the 1500s. This revelation brings immense satisfaction to the team, validating their efforts and adding weight to the significance of their discovery. As Rick probes further, seeking a deeper understanding of the chain's potential use, Carmen elaborates on its likely function. He explains how similar hooks were commonly employed for dragging or lifting heavy objects, often utilized in loading cargo onto ships and harbors. This sparks speculation among the team, pondering the possibility that the artifact they've uncovered may have played a crucial role in transporting treasure from a ship to the stone foundation. The implications of Carmen's assessment are profound, suggesting that the stone foundation holds the key to unlocking the mysteries of Oak Island. With each revelation, the team edges closer to unraveling the enigma that has captivated generations, fueled by the hope that their discoveries may ultimately reveal the island's long-hidden secrets. The revelation that the end part of the chain is machine-made adds another layer of intrigue to the discovery, prompting speculation about who may have modified the chain and for what purpose. The team ponders whether this alteration occurred years after the chain's original forging, raising questions about potential clandestine activities on the island. Could the chain have been repurposed to conceal something of greater value, leading to its modification? Rick offers his insight, drawing connections between the chain's discovery and the myriad artifacts unearthed at the swamp's end, particularly those related to ship parts. This wealth of evidence strongly suggests the presence of a wharf in that area of the island, further fueling speculation about its historical significance. As the team delves deeper into the mysteries surrounding Oak Island, each revelation unveils new possibilities and underscores the importance of their ongoing exploration efforts. Rick's intuition regarding the significance of ship wharves resonates with the historical importance of these maritime structures. Ship wharves have long served as pivotal nodes in global trade and transportation networks, facilitating the exchange of goods and people between vessels and onshore facilities. By providing docking and loading, unloading capabilities, wharves enable ports to handle substantial cargo volumes efficiently, driving economic activity and facilitating international trade. Rick's optimism reflects a deeper understanding of the potential implications of their discoveries on Oak Island. He believes that further exploration may unveil additional evidence that could shed light on the island's enigmatic past. By piecing together clues and uncovering artifacts, the team hopes to unravel the mysteries surrounding the island's history and the identities of those who may have traversed its shores. Through their ongoing efforts, Rick and his team aim to unravel the intricate web of secrets that lie buried beneath Oak Island's surface, inching closer to uncovering the truth behind its storied past. The team's ongoing exploration of Oak Island's swamp is centered on unraveling the mysteries surrounding the Stone Road, a compelling discovery located in the southeast corner of the bog. With its potential age stretching back centuries, the Stone Road represents a tantalizing clue to the island's elusive past prompting the team to intensify their efforts in uncovering its secrets. Leading the charge in this latest excavation endeavor is Gary Drayton, renowned for his expertise in metal detection. 
With his keen eye and specialized equipment, Gary aims to unearth further evidence that could illuminate the murky history and purpose of the swamp. The recent discovery of a sizable hand-wrought chain and hook, believed to originate from the 16th century, has ignited curiosity and sparked discussions about the swamp's significance within Oak Island's intricate narrative. As the team delves deeper into the southern reaches of the swamp, their focus remains sharp, scouring the terrain for any traces of the stone road and other artifacts that may offer valuable clues. Each discovery, whether it's a mere stick or a sturdy stud, is meticulously examined and cataloged, contributing to the ongoing quest to piece together Oak Island's enigmatic past and unlock the secrets concealed within its murky depths. Through their relentless dedication and meticulous attention to detail, the team endeavors to unravel the mysteries that have long shrouded this storied island, inching closer to revealing its hidden truths. The team's exploration of Oak Island Swamp takes a captivating turn as they peel back layers of peat, gray sand, and brown sand, revealing a complex tapestry of geological features that pique their curiosity. Rick and Billy's keen observations highlight the unusual arrangement of these materials, particularly the presence of peat overlying the sand, suggesting a disruption in the natural sedimentation process. Rick's astute recognition of the X-cut wood as a relic of older wood construction techniques adds another dimension to their discoveries, hinting at past human intervention in the area. Recognizing the need for specialized expertise to decipher these geological enigmas, the team considers reaching out to Dr. Spooner for his invaluable insights. The uncovering of layered sediments and ancient wood structures ignites speculation about the swamp's historical significance and its possible ties to the nearby Stone Road. Fueled by a relentless drive to unravel Oak Island's secrets, the team is determined to delve deeper into these findings. Recognizing that each clue brings them closer to unraveling the island's mysteries and uncovering its hidden truths, Dr. Spooner's hypothesis gains momentum as the team delves deeper into their excavation efforts in Oak Island Swamp. Rick and Billy engage in discussions about the strategic placement of peat over the sand, pondering its role in facilitating the unloading of valuable cargo from ships onto the island. This deliberation suggests a deliberate reshaping of the landscape by human hands, further bolstering Dr. Spooner's theory. Their decision to dig deeper, potentially reaching depths of three to four feet, underscores their unwavering commitment to uncovering additional evidence to substantiate this hypothesis. As they press on with their excavation, Gary's unexpected discovery sparks excitement among the team, hinting at the possibility of further significant findings that could illuminate the island's enigmatic past. The team's anticipation reaches a crescendo when they unearth a series of pottery fragments, signaling potential archaeological significance. Rick and Gary marvel at the intricacy and craftsmanship of the pottery, speculating on its intended use and the identity of its original owner. Recognizing the importance of discovering these artifacts in situ, they appreciate the valuable context they provide for interpreting their meaning and significance within the broader narrative of Oak Island's history. The team's exploration yields a growing collection of pottery, including the discovery of a handle, fueling their optimism and prompting humorous remarks from Gary about the connection between muck and potential wealth. Recognizing the importance of meticulous documentation and analysis by archaeologists, the team eagerly awaits insights into the age and origin of these pottery pieces, hoping for valuable clues about Oak Island's past. Rick and Gary remain captivated by the ongoing discovery of pottery, with Rick noting the possibility of finding the maker's marks on the artifacts. Their thorough examination highlights the delicate craftsmanship, suggesting the pottery may have served as plates or dishes. Gary's enthusiasm grows as they discuss the potential for encountering older pottery as they dig deeper into the layers of sediment. The team's keen observations led to the identification of unique designs on some pottery pieces, including what appears to be a leaf pattern, adding an extra layer of intrigue to the find. Speculating on the age of the pottery, Gary suggests a chronological progression with increasing depth. Rick emphasizes the significance of discovering multiple types of pottery concentrated in one area, raising possibilities for reconstruction and in-depth analysis by archaeologists. In the culmination of years of perseverance and relentless exploration, Rick Legina and his team have achieved a monumental breakthrough on Oak Island, the discovery of treasure. This long-awaited moment not only validates their unwavering commitment, but also serves as a testament to the enduring allure of the island's mysteries. With the treasure finally unearthed, the legacy of Oak Island's enigmatic past takes on new meaning, inspiring further exploration 
and igniting the imaginations of treasure hunters for generations to come. In Rick's triumph, the tantalizing secrets of Oak Island are revealed, marking a historic milestone in the ongoing quest for discovery and adventure. Thank you for watching. Remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel to see other related content. See you in the next video.